Yo, YouTube, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Happy Sunday, man. Uh, <clears throat> got another little tool I'm going to try out today. You know, it's Harbor Freight. Y'all probably say, boy, Rich love Harbor Freight. But, I mean, I ain't going to say it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? When you get to doing that hand sanding on certain parts of the car, man, and you got a lot of build up, you just got to kind of work it how you work it, man. So, um, dang, I left my antifreeze. This is how you know you have too much going on, man. I left my good antifreeze outside last night. Somebody could have came through and had them a, about a $14 jug, man. Crazy. I definitely got to um, take the time up to get that, that front right today. Um, but one of the things we're going to do, we're just going to pull the car cover off. Uh, I know y'all know I try to be, you know what I'm saying, as much as a family man as I could. You know what I'm saying 110, 120, 200%, a thousand. So, nice day out today, man. My kids want to get out and go to the park. And, you know, it ain't like me. I can't tell them no. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get out here. Um, got the sand, and that's why I got the sand, so I can kind of speed the process up just a little bit, but still get to where I um, need to be on this thing. So, we're just going to flip the plastic and stuff back on this thing, man. Let me turn the camera around for you. Flip the plastic back. Get this plastic back off this thing a little bit. Y'all can kind of see this side right here. We ain't did no sanding yet. None whatsoever, man. The longer you let this thing here sit, the harder it get. Uh, I want to be kind of aggravated with my buddy because... You know what I'm saying? But I can't. I can't. This is my project. It is what it is. So I got to put that grind into it. So uh, show you what we working with. Y'all already seen the sand. Like I said, man, if I'd have had a shot, man, boy, 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 we get it in, man. So a little, just a little finishing sander, man. Uh, 1.8 amp. Little Harbor Freight joint. I don't even know how it's going to do yet. Um, I got some other sanders in the shed. But uh, they've been in there for a good little minute. You feel me? So, I, I'm going to do an unboxing on this thing right here later, man. For right now, I'm going get to get down to this grind. But I'll show you what else uh, your boy got with this right here. I'm used to hand sanding, so it'll knock me just to kind of get it because I'm messing with that that glass, man. I drop all the way to uh, 60. You feel what I'm saying? I drop all the way to 60 grit. And I got three packs of that. It's about six sheets. I don't know what I need, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to get this drop cord out the truck. I'm going to plug this thing up and pull that bad boy out the box and we're just gonna go ahead and get to it man um hopefully i'll be able to set the camera up someplace so y'all can actually see what's going on man so y'all just stay tuned for right now though all right so we geared up ready to go man i got some 60 grit on the bow nice little clamp it seemed to be a little sturdy got a little uh dust pack at the back right now but uh even though it got a little dust pack you know what I'm saying? We still gonna slam this mask on. I need the dog gonna cover the dreads up, but uh, I'm gonna probably end up having to wash that thing tonight. Anyway, man, so y'all stay tuned, man. Let me see where I can set the camera up for y'all so y'all can see what's going on. All right, so I got the camera set up a little decent, I guess. I hope it don't fall, but uh, we gonna see. Oh. Safety first. Close these doors up. 
We ain't gotta worry about getting too much dust inside the car. Yep, 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 yep. So I went through my um, first sheet of 60. You know what I'm saying? The paper, it's all right. The only thing I don't like about the paper, I was trying to see if it had a sticky back on it. Because I kind of like the one with the sticky back. But this ain't got no, if it got a sticky back, I can't tell. So, you know what I'm saying? The paper grabbing pretty good. This is what we got right here. So it's, it's, it's smoothing it right on down you know what i'm saying before it, everything was just like that right now or more like this right here at the back where you, it was rough you could feel it with your hand or on the hand but it's smoothing that thing right on down with that but uh y'all know how your boy rich do it man i guess we gonna slow grind this thing right here out i just remember i bought this setup right here from harbor freight you be having tools laying around man and you just Forget you have stuff, man. But yeah, I bought this right here from Harbor Freight, man. I think this was only like four dollars. Um, and I also had the paper and stuff, five inch paper to go on it. But that's eighty. So we're gonna try this right here and see what we could do without hurting that top right now. See if that worked, man. Cause you know I ain't got no speed uh, control on this thing right here. But my, that's my next investment to buy a DA. Uh, this is a grinder, but I'm going to buy a DA sander with speed control on it. But let me get this paper on here, man. We're going to see how this thing works. Oh, yeah. Can you tell we working now? Can you tell we working now? Man, look at here, man. I put the 80 on this thing right here, man. And I'm talking about I ain't putting no pressure down on them. I'm just like leveling it out flat. And just letting it run across there. You know what I'm saying? I got to go across it with another whole coat anyway of the glass. So, you know, I'm just letting it do a thing, man. But uh, I'm going to sit it down for a second in this box here. I'm going to turn the camera around and see what we got. I feel like we cook it with hot grease now, cuz. I feel like we cook it with hot grease now. You know something, man? I'm gonna get the uh, air holes and all and blow this thing out. I still, I still got low spots in here. Like I still got low spots for sure. I can tell you, but rubbing them like right up in here, low. You know what I'm saying? Metal right there, but uh, right up in here feel real good. Right up in here, low. 
you know, back here, just a little wavy, but that right there, I'm going to hit that just a little bit more. We're still a little rough at the back right there. I'm going to try and feather that right on out. Um, and get on Ryan now, man. But we're going to get some of this dust off of right quick. Get into it, boy. It's the only way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you can see this side right here. I ain't touched this side. My homeboy did this side right here. Um, I'm a little skeptical on it, but I mean, I know my process. I'm going to have to finish it all. So what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to try to get this thing right here as close to level as possible. Like I said, I got another whole coat that got to go on it. So I might well clean up these dimples in there, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like giving it a makeover. Might as well clean them dimples up, them hard edges right there. I can clean all that up. He was hand sanding with the block. That's the right way to do it. Right now, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was just trying to get a little speed to it. So you can see over there what I did with the um, grinder. I want to say DA, but it ain't a DA. It's actually a grinder with a piece uh, that adapts to it that allow you to work it like a DA. But you ain't got no various speeds to it. So that's the thing. You really got to take your time. You know what I'm saying? You can't be heavy handed. So you see right here in the front where I still got this little piece right here in the front to kind of knock down some. Uh, still got a couple little dimples right there, but I kind of need to build the front up a little bit more. So that's why I ain't really get down deep into them holes right there. Cause after I hit this part right here, what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna um, get the uh, glass and I'm gonna I'm I'm probably go back up. Cause you can see I'm really level, but it's just gonna be a little light coat of the glass going on there. And then of course, you know, I gotta build up some little bit more in the back right here, as you can see. Cause I'm still a, a little bit lower in the back, so. We're going we're gonna to definitely bring that up so we can meet the back of that glass right there. You know what I'm saying? And we just got to go ahead and clean these tracks up. So it ain't going to be a one-day process thing, but I had to get back to work and make some progress with it. And I ain't going to lie. Like, you got to do what you got to do, man. Y'all see it. We got that side over there bust down. I go over there. Show it to you, man. Like I said, we still gotta lay some glass on it. <clears throat> but we got it nice and smooth. Still got some low spots. You can see. Ain't level at all. Still got some low spots. You know? But all that right there, once you get that glass and all laid down on her and everything and kind of get a build up to the height you want to get a build up to then that's where you will take your guide coat which i use some black spray paint um and just kind of missed it and then i get to doing my little water sanding or whatnot um but my main thing is i, I really want to get it built up to the glass first that way i can go ahead and put my tracks on the inside and right here and run my tight gun tubing and everything that way i can really play with the water and water sand this thing or wet sand this thing um because i ain't got my track in the back yet i don't have my track bolted up in the back yet so that's my thing i got it and uh you know what i'm saying once i bolt that up i can run tie gun tubing take the tube run it outside the car so the water can drain outside the car and not inside where the stuff at. So, so far, so good, man. The little DA, uh, the li little DA grinder, uh, combination with that 80 on it is working. I ain't went through but one sheet. That was only one pad, man. One pad. Knock all like that right there down, believe it or not. Um, 
I really want to kind of knock that side over there down, knock that front down. And I want to pull this right here off because every time I look at this right here, this right here kind of is aggravating to me. So you can tell I ain't, I ain't getting impatient. It's just I want to go ahead and get that thing right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to see what's what on this side over here. Because looking at it, I, I tell you what, I mean, might be just me. Like I said, I'm going to just hit the middle sections in the front and the back. Middle sections in the front and the back. Right there. Same thing in the back. I got to build a whole back up to meet the glass. So I'm going to hit them sections. He looked like he got that side right there. Pretty much, you know what I'm saying, straight. Um, I can kind of look at it by eye. And I can tell that it's one little high section over there versus looking at this side over here and telling that it's almost right where it need to be. So um, I'm going to hit that, man, and I'm going to cut you back on as soon as I hit this right here real quick. It ain't going to take much because he already done got it knocked down.
Yeah, so y'all see me sitting there um, a few minutes ago. Little, need a little break now. Um, see me sitting there a few minutes ago, man, busting that thing down with my little homemade DA. Still got dust in there. That's why I still got my mask on. Um, plenty of dust in there. And all over the camera, too, but... Uh, I'm gonna grab the camera off the stand, man. And I'm gonna just give y'all a little close up look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we got going on? So, as you see, we ain't we ain't went back. We ain't even touched that side right there. We about to. We got one little spot right there that we gotta we gotta hit that. But we gotta hit that from the driver's side. I was trying to lean into it, but I don't want to mess up nothing. And you can see right here on the front part of the window right here. A lot of this stuff right here gonna get blocked, saying, you know what I'm saying, after we put that final coat on there um, by hand. So, you know, you can see it now. The way I done took that thing, man. In certain spots, you know, we, well, my buddy laid a uh, glass. And we ain't got too thick right there. That's why you see metal all up in there. But, um, I don't know. My decision now on what I want to do, I know I'm going to go ahead and clean it up some more. You know what I'm saying? Get some of this fine dust out of there. So I'll probably get me a little bucket with some water or something, man. Soap and water and just, you know what I'm saying? Wash it down right quick. And then go from there, but let y'all see it from the side. I'm gonna get that thing to level off to see where we at. Remember, I told you I gotta build up a little bit more in the front. So, we ain't got much to go. I'll let y'all see it from the side, man. We there. We definitely there. And then we gotta hit that back right there. While I was back here, got that we still got some more building up to do on this so that's why i ain't knocked this that I, I smoothed it out some but that's why i ain't knock it down you know what i'm saying like i want to if you could look at it you still got spots all right here but once i take that last coat of glass man and come across this thing man i'm gonna try to bring her up as high as possible so she'll be right there with my glass and then with my actual glass and then you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna put a too thick though you know what i'm saying and, and, and then i go ahead and do my my magic but with that right though when it comes to doing that part right there i'm a block saying that um so that's why i'm gonna try and lay it down real good i probably get one of my uh paddles right here or either use my block right here i said i was gonna buy a block kit Went to Harbor Freight, I ain't even look for it. But I'll take that, wrap that up in that. You know what I'm saying? So we're to go all the way around the paddle. And then I just start sanding by hand after I put that next step of uh, a glass on her. But um, she was just getting kind of up in the evening. One last thing I'm going to do, and y'all probably see that video later on, is I'm going to pull this clip off the front or should i just wait i now i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait because i want y'all to see step by step uh what i uh really got going on little spot i found right here sanding so you know i'm definitely gonna um get in that get the well there and then and then grind it back down i know a lot of y'all probably said man really yep really i'm gonna put some uh weld on that and then grind it right back down so I can have nothing metal on the top of that thing. But she nice and sturdy, man. I'm looking, loving, dang. I'm loving the way she looking. So you can see how level she is on this side. This is the side that I did with the homemade DA tool. Again, you can see we just got that little section right there in the front. That I just gotta kinda knock down, son. So, with that being said, I'ma knock that right there down and clean some of this up right here, like I did on the other side over there. 
Go ahead and clean it up. Right here on my tape line. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't wanna just keep on adding and adding and adding and adding. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I like to clean up while I go. So that's that's the thing with that. And then the tedious part about it is gonna be getting inside these right here. But uh, that's here nor there. Uh, so I'm gonna probably pull the glass back out anyway. Ain't no problem. I know. I'm gonna pull the glass back out um, to get inside these little areas right here. But if I wanted to, and I'll show y'all that little tip for trick, um, on the, I could show y'all now, but you could take your, uh, your stick, like I had earlier, your paint stick. And once you get your paint stick, you know what I'm saying, you can go down in there and you can start sanding down in them little, them little grooves, you know what I'm saying? Cleaning up around them little areas and stuff. And you, I'd be real careful because, you know, you ain't want to start chipping away at your uh, actual fiberglass that you need right here. So, yeah, just put it on a paint stick, man, and and go at it because you see right here where I'm already, I'm touching my my actual glass glass so definitely or you know if you if you if you good you can take your nice little razor blade man and kind of take it and just kind of trim right on around them edges but like i said i'll be real careful make sure you don't bust up your glass right here if you do you know what i'm saying you probably want to get you a little bit of bondo or if you got an extra little bit you could touch that up um when you pull the top out man but, but that's it, man. Y'all see it, man. Your boy Rich, everything hard at work. Got to get it, man, on a Sunday now. This time I put in a little bit of time with the family, man. I'm going to take the blower, blow this thing right here off after I knock that one spot out right there so I feel comfortable um, laying down. You feel what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. I mean, if, if y'all want to get it done, man, you got to get out there. You got to grind with it, so... That's how you see me. I get out there and I grind with it, man. I mean, I can't say I don't take no days off because I do take days off, you know, because I have to do stuff with family. But, man, every chance I get, like I'm out there or I'm out here or I'm doing something, you feel me? Like, uh, that's getting to it, man, getting to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, man, let me go ahead and knock this one part down on the front of this car, man. Your boy Rich Everything, man. Follow me on Instagram at Rich underscore everything with an A. Man, make sure y'all push them subscribe button, man. Make sure y'all push that bell, man. Make sure y'all push the like. Get down there in the comments, man. Um, I know it's a lot more y'all painters and stuff out there. Sprayway, what's good, man? I know you looking. Um, like I say, I ain't get to your stage yet to where I'm going to lay that Rondo down on that thing. But I got a little bit more cleaning up to do, but... I'm happy to be at this point right here because I'm wrapping it up on the top. And then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all saw the last video, or if y'all didn't see the last video, please go check it out. I already made the uh, door panels for the car. So um, a little bit more cutting to do on that so we can go ahead and place everything. Uh, matter of fact, let y'all see. I got my stuff right there. My trim down there on the ground for my windows and all. So, yeah, door panels are already made, all four of them. Um, seats, all that stuff going to get touched at one time, man, pretty much one time. So, right now, we're down to just dropping the motor in the car and body work. And, man, y'all see me bust this top down one man, you know what I'm saying, with a little homemade DA sander, you know what I'm saying? So... Y'all know how to grind go with me, man. Give y'all one more look at that thing from the front. Mm. We got to sit? No, we got to sit. Bird's eye view. We almost there, man. YouTube, man. 
Look here, keep supporting the boy, man. Look here, go back and check out some of my other videos that y'all see me done pose, man. And y'all know what your boy Rich Everything about to do. The one last spot right here. Blow this thing here all. Go take me a nice shower in the family time. So guess what? I'm out.